Welcome back to the Mush Report. This is the second video in the new series, inoculating our Ben's original rice bags. And today I'll be inoculated in two different types of bags, one being the original whole grain brown rice bag. Second will be the Jasmine ready rice bag. The reason why I chose Jasmine is because upon inspection with different bags, you do want a bag that doesn't have any spices or other ingredients or oils besides the rice itself. Now the spores I'll be using today are multi-spore syringes. The first one being Golden Teachers, number 331, and Penis Envy, number 78. Some of the other tools and supplies I'll be using today is a hole punch. I'm going to use this hole punch to create our air exchange holes. Micropore tape. This is 3M micropore tape. It's breathable. We'll be using this to cover our air exchange holes. Also, I have two brand new sterilized syringe needles. as well as a torch lighter for any sterilizing. I also have some alcohol to help sanitize surfaces. This is 91%, it's all I had on hand, but 71% is much more preferable. And last but not least, some surgical gloves, because we want to try and keep this clean as possible. All right, so one of the first things I like to do to prepare my rice bags is to get all the rice down to the bottom of the bag. Now, when you do get these bags, you'll have rice up towards the top, up near the tear line. Now, what I'm trying to do is push everything down. I get all the rice, I try to push it down. A lot of times these bags are pretty tight, but what you can do is you can Shake it like that vigorously until you have one big wad of rice towards the bottom of the bag. The reason why I do this is because I want the upper half to be clear of any rice, which could attract contaminants or anything like that. And what I like to do is put my air exchange holes on the top side where it's free of any rice. And before I do that, I will, of course, clean my bag surface where I'll be injecting and making the air exchange holes with alcohol. But the first thing I do, like I said, is I work all this rice down to the bottom of the bag to a nice, even lump. Also, if you can't tell if there's any rice grains up top here, the best thing you can do is hold this bag up to a bright light and it's pretty translucent enough so you can see any stray grains that may be on the top side. Now that the rice is worked down to the bottom of the bag, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clean off the areas where I'll be doing my work. Nothing crazy. And that's it. Now you're ready to prepare your multi-spore syringe. So with multi-spore syringes, sometimes when you get them, there'll be a big lump of uh, spores in there. And sometimes it can be a little difficult for people to break up that lump. So when you get these multi-spore syringes, a lot of times you'll see the spores all in one big clump. Now, here you can see there's quite a bit distributed throughout the water. But if you're having trouble, 
what you can do is I like to back off on this cap right here and I'll draw back a little air. As you can see, there's an air bubble in there. And what that'll do is give you the ability to stir up those spores. And when I do that, you can see them floating around. And before that was a big clump, but now it's breaking up pretty good. Another method is if you have any type of device or anything that vibrates, you can put it on here and help agitate it as well. Now we're talking. So here's my sterilized needle. A lot of times when you do order these multi-spore syringes, they do give you the needle with it. So these are all clean and sealed. And there's a nice little tube here to help protect it when you're not using it. These are very sharp, so whatever you want to do, pay attention at all times, and when you're not using it, put it back in the cap. Don't go for the cap straight on, because you can miss and jab yourself. I like to do it perpendicular, find the tip to the cap, follow it in. Might sound dumb, but I don't think you really want to be stabbing yourself with spores still there, so that's that. So I'll give this another shake, just for good measure. And there I've got a nice cloud. There are some chunks, but we're not gonna be injecting a lot. Take off my cap. On your needle nice and tight. Now I'm going to try and take some of that air out of the syringe. All right. Now there's a lot of ways you could, you'd probably think you can inject your rice bag. Now in the past, I used to go perpendicular, but through the comments section, on Mars Medigro, where I originally started the Mush Report, uh, a lot of my viewers have left some very helpful comments. So, and because of one of those comments, I'll be coming from the top today, which makes sense. So gravity will help pull it down. Because after I inoculate these bags, I'll be storing them upright. Now, before I inoculate the bag, uh, I've had this issue before where the tape or the label that comes with these is covering the end of the syringe that you need to see where the plunger is. So peel it back just so I can see if I'm injecting enough or too much. So I go ahead and insert it on the top side because we want it to run down this time. All right. And that was about a half a cc. So now after I injected it, what I want to do is have put a piece of tape over that. All right, now I've covered the injection site. The next step is I'm going to put my air exchange holes with the hole punch. Now to use the hole punch, you want to be able to separate the bag here. So to separate the bag, pinch it. Now you have a layer, the, the front layer of the bag and not the back. gather that in your fingers go in and make your hole punch make sure it went all the way through it's 
material is thicker than paper. And as you see, two nice holes there. After you punch your holes, you want to cover it with the micro pour tape. But don't push it on so hard that it sticks to the other side through the holes that you made. You want that to be a nice little pocket up there of air. Press down the tape around it. Just don't press down the tape on those holes. So now it'll be able to have proper gas exchange. All right, now you've inoculated your bag and you're ready to move on to the next one.